What's up subscribers? Today we got my LS tuning bench harness in front of us here. It's a pretty simple setup, a power source, the OBD2 plug, and the plugs that connect to the ECM. I'm just gonna go through with you guys how I made this, how you can make one for yourselves. This harness is for the GM ECMs, but you could probably do something similar to work with a whole bunch of other different ECMs. So here we go. I'm gonna get started by pulling this electrical tape off so I can show you guys what's going on with the wiring for this thing. So untaping this one is probably a really stupid idea. I should have just started making a new one to show you guys because I basically destroyed it in frustration because there's so much tape in here. So I just ripped it apart. But anyways, this is the power supply. Uh, you'll notice it says the amount of milliamps on it there. That is important to this whole deal. Uh, the way I learned to make this was actually off Matt Happel's website. I'll post the recommendations he made for power and a link to the entire article in the description. So once you get your power supply, you'll just want to cut off the plug, obviously, so you have the two, uh, two leads, one's positive, one's negative. So this is what's going to be providing power to the whole thing, the OBD2 plug and to the ECM. Next down the line, we have the OBD2 plug. Uh, we kind of went over this yesterday, but they're all mostly similar. It's got uh, two grounds in this case, and one power wire here, and then this is the ser serial data wire, rather, that goes to the ECM and gets the data for whatever you're connecting to the OBD2 port. So this is pretty simple, just the one that goes to the ECM, and then a power and a ground. And then at the end of it, we have the ECM plugs. Uh, this is the part that would interchange based on the vehicle and ECM you're working on. But basically what you want to find out is uh, where the grounds are would normally be going on the harness when the thing is connected in the car. So we got two grounds, actually just two grounds on this plug. That's all that you need for that one. And then a ground here. This is a switched power, uh, switch power, constant power, constant power, serial data, and another ground. Uh, the switched and the constant, you can put together the same because when you're using this harness, you want it on, like as if your key was in the on position when you plug it in. So there, you don't have to worry about having a switched and a separate constant power. All the powers can go together. If you're new to these GM ECM harness connectors, uh, there's just little clips on the side that you put a little screwdriver in, pop that side, pop this side, this will pop off, and then it's pretty easy to see how you just have to pop away a little clip on the side of the pin and then it slides out the back if you want to remove it. I'll leave another link in the description for lt1swap.com. They have all the pinouts for these so you'll know which wires to put where and stuff like that. It's a really good website. I learned a ton off of it so yeah, check that out in the description. The uh, ribbed cable here cord is going to be the negative in most cases they say it's always good to check but that's kind of a rule of thumb apparently with the uh, small appliance wiring so to go over everything here again it's pretty simple you got a positive and negative and from the obd2 negatives go to there and the positive goes to there you can see that and then from the ECM, negative goes to there, positive goes to there. You get the idea. It's really pretty simple when you break it down. Uh, I'll just try to lay this out so you can get a good look at it. I left these parts taped up, but all that's going on in there is these wires are getting joined into one single lead. I just twisted them together so you can get another good visual on kind of how this is. <clears throat> the one serial data wire, OB2, computer, grounds, and then powers to those and then the OBD2 ports, grounds and powers to these as well. It's really pretty simple. Uh, like I said, you could probably use this for tons of different ECMs. I've only used it for the GM ones, but I'm sure something similar will work with a bunch of different manufacturers stuff. That's all for today, guys. I thought I'd just show you a quick technical tip, something that a lot of people can probably use. I wanted one of these for a while and uh, it's worked great and hasn't fried any computers. It's really pretty simple. As always, like, share, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and we'll check you later. <clears throat> Fuck. LS truck computers or any of those computers, but I'm sure this kind of... But I'm sure you could make a similar harness. Uh, like I said, this one's for the GM ECMs, but this would probably work with a bunch of different... Uh, Fucking bitch. Sit. So here we go. I'm gonna get to tearing this apart. Fucking idiot. Could you not? 
So here we go. I'm going to tear all the electrical tape off this and show you guys what the wiring is. So here we go. I'll get to work. Fuck. Shut up. So here we go. I'm going to... Fuck. The milliamp rating is important. Motherfuck. Oh, this shit. Uh, basic... There is a bumpy area on one of the cords. That's how you can tell it is. Yeah. I left these parts taped up, but basically all that's going on in, in there. I left these parts taped up, but basically all that's going on in, is in there. Fuck. And we'll check. Fuck. Son of a fuck. <laughs> 